They say the secret to a clean kitchen is to not cook ever. <laughs> but if you insist on doing it, then you can at least make your job easier by organizing and making sure that everything has its place. I'm gonna show you how I did that in my kitchen and I couldn't have done it better without Cricut who is very kindly sponsoring this video. Okay, so my kitchen is deceptively small and most of the storage is in these cupboards that are all open, which means everything's gonna be on display all the time. So my main focus was to avoid visual clutter as much as possible. Food comes in packages of all kinds of shapes and colors, which creates a lot of visual clutter. So I got different food jars to make everything look cohesive and also be more accessible at the same time. Luckily, I do have a separate pantry in the apartment where I can store the extra food, but for now, I just wanted to have the kitchen properly organized with the foods that I use most often. Once I transferred all the food in their own containers, it was time for the really satisfying part, which is creating labels for these jars, and for that, I'm going to use my Cricut Explore 3 machine. If you're into DIY projects at all, you've most likely heard about the Cricut machines, especially from people who make or sell stickers. This was the very first project I ever did with my Cricut, so I was a complete beginner and totally intimidated, but the setup was actually super easy and intuitive. So once you open up Cricut Design Space, you can either choose an already made project, which there are tons of, they also have lots of pre-made labels for all kinds of different purposes, or you can create your own designs from scratch, which is what I did. So I just wrote out all the labels that I had to create and played around with the fonts and sizes and before cutting the final project I did create some mockups just to see which sizing and font I liked best. Once I had all the labels designed, I sent them to my Cricut, loaded the smart vinyl and let it do its thing. So as you can tell, the Cricut is a smart cutting machine and it actually cuts over 100 materials including cardstock, vinyl, iron-on and even materials like glitter paper, foil or bonded fabric. So the possibilities for DIY projects are literally endless. Once the labels are cut, you can go ahead and remove the excess vinyl including the negative spaces of the letters. All the tools that I'm using here are from Cricut as well, so they do have you covered on all the accessories you need to create a project from start to finish. Finally, you just place the transfer tape on top and make sure it's really stuck on there. Cut out all the individual labels and once you peel them off, they're ready to be transferred to the containers. I used permanent vinyl for this project just to make sure that the labels weren't going to peel off when I washed the jars and I also did them in white instead of black because I wanted them to be more subtle but once they're inside the cupboards they'll pop even more. This was such a satisfying project and I wish I could do this all day just organizing people's kitchens and pantries and making labels. Luckily there are still plenty of things that I need to organize around the house but anyways so I did this for all of the food as well as for my dog's food and treats because they're always kind of all over the place in opened and half used packaging so it's a lot more convenient to store them like this. Some foods or condiments already come in nice containers and especially if they're gonna last you a long time, you can maybe just take off the labels and create your own and then you can just refill them. I put everything that has to do with baking in a separate box so that everything is organized and in one place but it's also easy to store when I don't need it. When placing everything in the cupboards, I try to make sure that the things I use most often are the most accessible as well. I also took full advantage of all the vertical space with these wide shelves that I got from IKEA and they just help to stack things on top of each other in taller spaces. This last section of the cupboard is kind of hard to reach so I just put some things at the front and then the baking box which is easy to take out as well as other condiments which I don't use as often. I'll try to link everything that you see in this video in the description box, but pretty much everything is from either Amazon or Ikea. The next thing I wanted to tackle was the spices because these two can create a lot of visual clutter. So I found these wire racks on Amazon which come with screws but also with adhesive stickers and they actually hold incredibly well even on marble. Next, I transferred all the spices into these little jars that I got from Amazon as well. And they did come with pre-made labels, but they just didn't have all the spices I needed. So of course I made my own. I was a bit nervous while making these labels because the jars are quite small. And so the font had to be really small as well. But the Cricut is so precise that the process was just as easy. 
I can definitely see myself using the Cricut to make labels for organizing everything around the house, including my stationery, as well as for other decorative DIY projects. And I'm also excited to try making some stickers for my journals. And even though they're sponsoring this video, as always, all opinions are my own. So anyways, I put the spices on the kitchen backsplash, that way they virtually don't take up any space and they're also on hand while you're cooking. I wanted to take advantage of the space above the fridge and I found this bamboo organizer with two drawers. In one of them I stored tea bags and the other one is going to be for different snacks. That way I get a little bit of extra storage and the containers are light enough that I can easily take them in and out when I need to. Another way I created more storage in the kitchen is with this magnetic organizer. It says it can hold up to 30 pounds, which is way more than I would ever put on it. But the point is that the magnets are very strong, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. It also has paper towel holders, which saves even more space off the counters and two shelves where you can organize jars, spices, utensils or anything else. I used mug hooks to store the attachments of the stand mixer so that they're accessible but out of the way. I do have a dishwasher so I rarely need to use a drying rack but I found this flexible one that you can easily store away as it doesn't take up much space at all and you can take it out only when you need to use it. Another way I saved even more space is by getting these special pots that use a detachable handle because they stack up nicely into each other and you don't have to worry about different types of handles getting in the way, especially when you store them. Their lids are also stackable, which makes storing them so much easier as well. Okay, so with that we are finished organizing the kitchen and this is what it actually looked like in the first couple of days after I moved in. <laughs> Obviously everything was a mess and I had no idea where to start but it all slowly came together and now I really enjoy spending my time in here. And it's also a lot more motivating to keep it clean when everything has its own place. Obviously, when you organize your kitchen, you want to make sure you consider your own needs, but I hope this video gave you some ideas or inspired you to get organized. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys.